More than a century ago, the Piccarelli brothers created famous sculptures in their Mott Haven studio that grace our city's iconic landscape. Today, another Mott ha Haven artist is creating a work of art that will soon end up a block away from the White House. How cool. News to the Bronx reporter Hannah Klieger has more in this Best of the Bronx report. When you walk into Sabin Howard's studio on Bruckner Boulevard, you may feel like you're in Michelangelo's studio in Renaissance Italy. But then he takes out the gas mask from World War I. Sabin is working on a team selected by the U.S. World War I Centennial Commission to create a giant memorial in Washington, D.C. The whole story here is uh, about a soldier that went through World War I, and it's not historically truthful, but it's emotionally truthful. A wall that's planned to be 75 feet long and made of bronze, telling the story of a man as he leaves his family, goes to war, and comes back wounded to his wife and daughter who are waiting for him. As you walk along the wall, you're going to see this story unfold. Sabin gets actors to pose for him in real World War I costumes. He takes their pictures on his iPhone in many different poses and creates drawings of the sculptures. Look at a model and I look at how the skeleton is moving, so it's very scientifically based. Then he consults with the rest of the team who give him feedback. The Centennial Commission told us in a statement, in part, that we are honored to be involved in this World War I memorial project and are impressed with Sabin's incredible work on it. I need to do something that's going to make people, like, do a double take. He's been doing this for 33 years, and his studio in Mott Haven is full of his masterpieces. The Bronx is a perfect place to have a commercial space. And this area is all about like making something. I fabricate with my hands. I work with my, with my mind and my hands. The relief is set to be completed in a few years and there are still many things that can change. But once it's finished, Sabin tells me that it will be one of the longest figurative compositions in the world. From Mott Haven, Hannah Klieger, News 12, The Bronx.